have to just jump in and say, because of my experience, because as a person who, you know, was a television executive and producer with a husband who was an executive and, and had what I thought were all the resources in the world, yet I didn't learn about applied behavioral analysis until my son was four. Because of that, and because of the gains he was making in the first year, my whole life changed, my whole path, my whole calling changed, and that was to make proper care and treatment available to every child, which is how I yes. discovered ACT Today. So I was profoundly impacted. Right. Now, I'm going to go on record right here as saying that while I had... I know. It's emotional. Yeah. It's well, emotional. I had the highest hopes for my son. He is not recovered. He is firmly on the spectrum, but he has made huge gains. And I believe... And he'll continue to make gains. Yeah. And I believe all children and all adults on the spectrum can make gains with Absolutely. the proper care and treatment, which is why I do what I do. But let's take a minute to talk about the emotional side of this, that if we all go into this and say, I'm going to give my child the best possible opportunity that I can, even if some of them start at two and they're given that opportunity, if 53% of them don't get to recovery, how do we begin to, to deal with that for the parents that you know, get to a point where they go, okay, my child is what, fill in the blank, whatever age they start to have the conversation of saying to themselves, well, maybe we aren't going to be one of those, as a friend of mine refers to it, we didn't win the autism lottery. Right. Yeah. Right. And how do you deal with those emotions? Do you change your program when you say to yourself, we may not be one of the people that gets to recovery? How does a family go on at that point, Vince, because I think that's an important conversation. It is, it is, and obviously much longer than we're going to have time for today. Yeah. But I think you know the 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 one thing that we're given, or or, or that we're, I'm going to get a little spiritual for a second, but that we're on the earth to do right is to do our very best and to do as much as we can to do the very best we can for Amen. our kids. Amen. So we're yeah. doing that and we're giving everything we can. There's nothing we can we can bow our head at. There's nothing that we could say that we could have done better, right? There is no guarantees. If two, four, five, there's no guarantees. When it starts, if we're bought in and we're giving 100% and we're doing everything that we can, we're listening to the professionals, we're, we're, we're collaborating with the professionals, we're, we're moving everything along. We're, we're using each gain as a step closer to a better life. And we continue to view each gain as that, that building block to a better life. There's, we, we have to just continue to do that. Right. The end result is what, the, you know, is, is I guess that that's a kind of a foolish way of saying it, an end result. Right. This is something that we're going to constantly be working towards. We're constantly going to give all our children your good children, my children, we want to give them the best life possible. And we'll continue to do that for the rest of our lives. And with our kids and our families, that motive, that that uh, motivation, that, uh, I guess, frame of mind has to continue, right? That every new step is a step forward to a better life. Now, if that leads to recovery, fantastic. If nothing else, it's to a better life. It's to better quality of life. It's to better successes in life. It's, you know, to better what we can give them. Yes, and I think progress is always the thing that we should all be focused on. But but I do think, I mean, you and I had a conversation earlier this week, and it's interesting because my son is 11 and your son is 13. And I think a lot of time that since I've known you, we've been on the same page. Yes. And then we saw the other day that we're starting to be on different pages, yes. that I am still in the mode of, even though my son is not recovered, I am still in the mode where it's my plan, it's what we're shooting for, that's where we're going. I I. It frightens me to think that there might be a moment when I go, oh, maybe not. I, you know, and I don't, I, like, I don't envision an end date. I don't know whether, like, at 22 we're going to say he's recovered, but I'm not letting go of that picture in my head. And I see you f starting to focus on other things and go through a grief process of maybe not there yet, but thinking about being in that space of saying that's not where my focus is going to be. Yes. And it's, I and I feel your pain. I'm I'm in pain watching you be in pain over that. It feels like it it feels like a disillusionment kind of thing that there is a grieving process. There is. I yeah, would say there definitely touched. is. But I do want to be clear that regardless of whether my son recovers or not, whether he stays as defined as on the spectrum, 
I do believe that all of our kids, no matter what age, no matter, I'm talking about even, I've seen in 20s and 30s, that with proper therapy and treatment, proper opportunities, which is what we try to provide at ACT Today for families that don't have access or, or can't afford it. Um, miracles can happen, and that may not mean recovery, but that could mean a child getting toilet trained at the age of 10. That could mean a child learning to communicate, they may be nonverbal, through an iPad, through assisted communication, and, and finding out they have a, a brilliant talent. That can mean a child learning to socialize uh, at the age of 16, you know, by going to a camp that allows that opportunity. So don't give up hope, parents. And don't think, I'm not gonna bother to do ABA because the glass is half empty. Right, I mean, we're continuing full speed yeah. ahead. I'm doing, I mean, we're still doing our, and as you once said to me, you said, well, you were the mom that did everything. We yeah. all thought of you as the mom that did everything. Yeah. And we did in our quest, and we continue to. Yeah. We continue to. And you keep your head high because of that. We've done everything, and we continue to do everything. And it's not over, right? There's no end right. game. We continue to do this. And you, you, Nancy, I know, will continue to do it. And he will continue to progress, right? We'll continue to progress.